papelitos here. Um, so today is August, no, September, excuse me. September 2nd, I did this whole thing on September and I'm still caught up in August. September 2nd and it's Wednesday, so daily attendance today. I just wanna thank everybody that has been very patient with me and you know, um, everything in gentleness, right? I've learned that through my um, life uh, because I'm usually, ah, you know, especially with the positions that I've held. So um, I love my students and they love me back. So they're like, hey, Mr. Bean, like there isn't the links, right? And there isn't. I was like in the wrong week since I saw August 26. I thought we were good, but I'm missing the whole link. So you guys were really patient. You figured out that somebody would eventually tell me and I figured it out myself and I did. And I put those links up as well for one of my classes, like I put 10 p.m. for uh, for class for Teams meeting. And uh, one of my students, whom I love her, and um, so she's like, uh, 10, 10, 30 p.m. is something for the meeting. And I'm like, <sighs> so then I went back and no wonder they were like, they, they were not uh, in order in the calendar. So thank you very much. There's something to be said about gentleness and, um, and patience. And, um, you know, it's sort of like that old, um, saying where it says like you get more flies with honey than you do with vinegar or something like that. I never know the sayings, but what that really means is that just sort of sometimes surrendering and sometimes going with the flow, it sort of fixes, it fixes itself, right? And or um, there's, you know, a gentleness about everything instead of being so aggressive all the time, right? And we have to be very careful, especially in this time where everybody's very, um, anxious and very pressured and we are in the unknown we don't know what's going to happen and so it's about bringing in a gentleness into life and your being and your daily interactions as well as uh, loving kindness and compassion right and there's a saying where it you know it says that uh if you um you know, if you can be right or be kind to be kind. And so I've been right a lot of times and I've, ah, you know, and, and in the end you just like, you're just in, you know, just a meanie, you know what I mean? And it just, and it doesn't, it doesn't solve anything. So, and especially, you know, eventually whatever is right and whatever you were going to say or whatever was going to be corrected, is going to be corrected anyway. And so sometimes, you know, and sometimes just having the kindness and the compassion to just sort of not um, highlight it is significant. Um, I read this, um, I don't know what I was reading a long time ago. And so they were about these scientists. And um, and so one of the scientists, uh, of course, mastered, uh, you know, his craft, right? His his career and, and whatever it is that his profession. And his mentor um, uh, basically came up with a theory and it was an incorrect one. And so, um, so he like many years later like 10 years later it was debunked and it was um noted that it was incorrect and so uh so the the student right the one that mastered it you know always knew that it was wrong but he never corrected his mentor and so i think that in the end i think don't quote me on this it was a long time ago in the end you know the the his uh mentor tells him why didn't you ever tell me or like his wife told him why didn't you ever tell your mentor that he was wrong and he said, you know, there was no need to. It was eventually going to come out. And so that was huge. It was a huge lesson to me that, you know, it is what it is. And, and maybe it is not for you to, you know, to state what is correct and what is not. Or that it's, you know, or just to, you know, um, do the corrective action, course of action. Maybe the only corrective course of action is your own. So that's been a huge lesson for me because, you know, because of my positions, ah, this and this and that. And all I've done is just sort of uh, have isolated people and been really harsh. And in the end, it hasn't mattered in the whole scope of life, right? So I thank you because you all have been very gentle with me and very patient. And, you know, we're going through this and I hope that, you know, that that is something, a skill also that came for me, right? We're like, you know, chill out, this and that or whatever. So it's about getting through, excuse me, getting through all this as a collective and as a team, right? We're all the team. So I thank you very much. The other thing is that today was a really good morning. Um, not that the other ones aren't, even though I got up a little bit late because I couldn't sleep at night, you know, just all sorts of stuff, who knows? But anyway, so um, so I got up a little bit late and then I ran and it's just been a really good morning and preparing, of course, for our team's meeting today that will start at 10 and we finish off at, at 1130. Um, I highly encourage you to, um, you know, to join me. 
Also, I'm going to have meditative, uh, you know, sessions. If you're up for it, I highly encourage you to do meditative. Part of the, you know, life lesson is sometimes, you know, part of uh, not being able to progress is sometimes we live in the past and sometimes our mind goes on and on and, and, you know, we can't shut it off and we go through these things over and over and over. So meditation brings about peace and it brings about, you know, sort of um, a surrendering and um, really sort of managing your thoughts in your mind so it won't take over you and just really being present and being able to have self-control in mind spirit and body right so with your thoughts as well as with um you know your physicalness and then of course your spirituality so it helps you not obsess and not be anxious and just really work on your presence in order to create your future so so i highly encourage you to meditate um, you know, it's also very soothing um, and it also uh, reduces your anxiety and your stress level. And through meditation also, um, you can see things, right? And you can sense things that uh, maybe you couldn't otherwise because you have no, um, you're, you have no um, silence, right? And you're not in the stillness of your life. And usually it takes about two, two minutes, you know, two minutes is for, is seems like forever. So anyway, so that, so back to my morning. So, um, so I had a really good morning today and um, I watched Peterson a lot. Jordan Peterson, I think is his name. There's a lot of things that I like, like that he says, right? But overall he's, he's super, super, super smart, super intellectual and um, you know, he knows, his stuff tremendously well because I, I don't know if I don't know what he is I don't know if he's a psychologist or sociologist or who knows so anyway so Peterson says um, he says when we when we are happy and when there is happiness hap been hap happiness sorry I don't know how to speak today when there's happiness we really need to savor those moments because there is very few moments in life in which happiness is within our life right and so I sort of agree with that or not but really what the what the what the line of that is what the whole uh, message for me is is that um, you know all our emotions are significant or important okay and and life is not just about being happy and being joyful but being satisfied and and working through and progressing through our life right and our journey our, our path which is you know life and our journey of life and so it is important to have all sorts of emotions and it is through the emotions, you know, a kaleidoscope of emotions, right? Sadness, grief, um, happiness, joy, euphoria, passion, um, you know, sadness, uh, you know, contemplation, uh, regretfulness, whatever, right? That embodies, um, you know, who we are. And it is through working through those emotions and having to navigate through them uh, appropriately and being able to get a hold of them, right? And like, as I mentioned, and I don't know in this channel or in the next, but all emotions are important and, and all emotions, there is no good or bad emotions, even though there's negative emotions. And if you have depression, of course you have to get out of that, right? But all emotions are important. And so, and the emotion is just the emotion, right? And so it needs to sit and you need to work through it in order to heal and be better, right? And so with that comes, you know, going through all your emotions, right? And going through the the, the hills and the valleys of those emotions of life. You know, sometimes you're gonna be in a really good state in life and then sometimes you're just struggling and struggling trying to get out. Everything is a lesson, right? And everything is an error and everything is a season. Es una temporada. And so we have to make sure that we go through those seasons and those emotions, you know, fully vested and fully present. And it is through um, managing those situations that we become better and that we grow, right? And because whenever that situation presents itself, again in our life then we have that experience that we had previously and might look very different but in the end it might be uh, you know the the basis of of whatever it is that you're going through you might have some experience on it and that's why i do my youtube videos because it is through my life experience that hopefully as i tell you it's sort of like a cheat sheet for you and you say oh my god i remember that miss edwin said this and this and that so maybe it gives you an insight of what that uh, season or that situation that you're in uh, might be, uh, you know, might look like eventually. And so with my experience, maybe you are, you are 
able to make better choices for yourself because you see that it's sort of a pattern and you see that there's this resemblance to whatever it is that I went through. And that's why I really do these, um, you know, channels, you know, because they take a lot of time, but I feel that I am destined and I'm fated to, you know, sort of, um, you know, help people, you know, because I'm a teacher. So anyway, so going through those emotions. And so he says, you know, we have, we don't um, always have happiness. And, um, and he, he believes that, you know, life, that life is not about reaching the happiness state. So I don't believe that. I think that you should be happy, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> happy and joyful. And I think that um, you know, you have to work at it. You know, happiness and joy does not come to you. It is a state of being and it is something that you work towards and nobody or anything or nothing, right, makes you happy or joyful. It is a state that you choose to be in and only you can make yourself happy. And if you're seeking happiness or joy or, um, you know, or whatever else, that you are seeking outside yourself, you're gonna be very disappointed because it is us that make ourselves who we are, right? So if we are not happy, no one else is gonna make us happy. There's no amount of money that'll make us happy. There's no amount of things that will make us happy. There's no amount of, you know, of, uh, of beings, right? Of people that will make us happy because because we're miserable, because we choose to be in that state. But it is when we choose to be in a joyous state, in a state of gratefulness, in a state of being happy, right? Because you can be happy just like, you know, I love like Starbucks water and it just makes me like, I don't know what it is, but I love my water for Starbucks and I love my morning walks and my morning runs and I, and I love my coffee. And so it is in the, you know, in the simplest of things, right? And, and I've worked very hard to have a very loving family, um, you know, in every, in every sense of the word, right? With my siblings, with my mother, um, you know, my father passed away at a very young age. So it taught me a lot about, you know, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, you can, you know, you know, things change, right? And so, you know, sometimes we wake up in the morning and it changes your whole life. And so, um, so I have worked very hard to make sure that as best as I can enjoy my life and enjoy everyone that is, um, in it with me, uh, you know, experiencing it. And, um, and so I have worked very hard to, with my, you know, have a good relationship with my, uh, children as well or whatever. So I'm in a state right now where, you know, I am, uh, basically happy, right? Uh, overall, there's some things that, you know, that maybe I'm, uh, not happy about or whatever, but it is through going through, uh, the essence of working through that and just really finding joy in the everyday, you know, like in my children, when they call me or, you know, or, or something that's hilarious that you just, you know, like that's why we, we did the midterms that we did. So, so going back to Peterson is that, you know, when you are happy and when you're in a state of joy, which I really do think that we should work very hard to be in, he, he says no, but I do. And so I think that when you have these moments of utter bliss or happiness or joy or, um, you know, or laughter, right, that we should, that we fully embrace those um, situations because that's what gets us through the really hard times. And when you're going through a hard time, you just need a break. And sometimes you just need something really easy and simple at that time. And sometimes we don't get it. So it is through the joyous moments and through the happy moments and through the successful moments that we really need to optimize and really live them fully, not minimize them, right? Not say, well, you know, this, that, or whatever, just take it and fully and enjoy the presence of that happiness and that joy. Um, because they're far and few between. Okay. So, um, so enjoy your day. Um, another thing is that I think that I've decided, I think that we're going to do resumes for everybody for midterm. And I know that some of you all have me for same class. So for different classes and have for two classes, but if it's okay with you all, I think we should do, um, there's this lady outside, outside my window. So I think we should do, uh, you know, resumes for midterm, for not for midterm, for finals. And so I think if you all want to start working for that, that would be great. Um, that way you can get it done this week and we don't have to wait till next week. Um, so tell me about it. Um, if you, I think, I think we're going to do it. I, let's do, let's do resumes for finals and then we can turn them in Monday or Tuesday of next week. I'll do the link. Um, and everybody does your resume, remember, and maybe you should do two resumes. Maybe you should do, no, let's just do one resume. 
uh, and um, and then update your resume and put in everything that you're, sub you're supposed to be putting in and that'll be your final. So just one resume, that's gonna be your final for all the classes, work on your resume um, and then uh, we'll chug along. There will be no daily attendance for tomorrow and the day after, remember, I will be grading. I am also grading the uh, past um, uh, late grades. I think that I basically have graded everything. I'm so sorry, I think I have uh, um, allergies. And so that's it. Um, there will be a Teams meeting today, so please join me. You know, more than anything, they're kind of fun. And you get to see me live stream, so that'd be great, okay? So we have our first meeting right now in, in, in about half an hour. Namaste, love and light. Enjoy your life. Ciao.